All right, welcome back, everybody, to The Mind of Gabs. Today, we are going to talk about stages, rule sets, counterpicking, and I also have today my boy, Mage. Mage, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me on today. No, thank you for coming. See, this is the type of conversation where you have to have, like, two people, and especially someone of your caliber present, so that way we get more than just, like, one single opinion, and you know a lot, so um, you said something not too long ago that kind of resonated with me which was about how you notice there's a generation of players who aren't really utilizing like counterpicking or just just the rule set in general of selecting stages. Would you care to elaborate? Yeah, um so what I've noticed at a lot of um events at least in Hillsborough County are there are a lot of newer players um and and players that only play online that aren't familiar with the um care the stage banning process and a lot of times they'll tend to pick um stages like fd or battlefield or whatever stage that they're most comfortable with without really thinking about um the process of a whole of oh maybe this stage isn't as good for me or maybe this stage is better for them so i don't want to br them to bring me there so i feel like if we get them to have a better understanding of the process itself, um, it would be a lot smoother in tournament. We'd have a lot of players that were growing a lot more and questioning, why would I choose this stage? Why would I ban this stage, etc. Yeah, I think you, as a as a better player, becoming like like up and coming, you have to know like what stages work for you and work against you. Like I have seen people choose stages like Unova against like a Roy player, and I'm like, oh god, this isn't gonna go well. And <laughs> they don't like I'm saying like they had no idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the starter stages and counterpick stages. We're gonna go over the, the the rule set. I got one pulled up here, um, by Xanadu. This is kind of like the official one. You don't really see the set procedure changing much. So I think what we'll do is we'll start with the set procedure. And then we'll talk about like the stages themselves um, at to, to kind of end the video off. Um, so it works like this. So step one is like let's say me and Major playing. We're gonna run through it together, right? So we both sit down. I look at Mage, and I say, "Hey, we're gonna do a double blind." Um, what's a double blind? Well, a double blind uh, means that both of us won't know who our characters are before our match starts. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, talk to the TO, and we're both going to lock in our characters. So let's say that I lock in um, Lucina, and um, Gabs locks in Snake. We wouldn't know that, because we would both um, secretly tell that to the TO. And once we had done um, all of the uh, stage selection, once the stage had been selected, then we would pick our characters, and there wouldn't and then there wouldn't be any way that we could like secretly counter pick based on the stage they chose. We're locked into that character, right? So um um something that I like to do is if there, there's no teal present or like if it's a bigger tournament, is I'll, I'll double blind in one of two ways. I would either grab somebody that's watching the or just nearby, say, hey, could you help us double blind? Um, I'm gonna tell you who I'm going to use, and then. Um, they're going to tell you who they're going to use, and then you're going to tell both of us at the same time who we're using. What I'll also do is, like, if there's nobody present that you know, I feel comfortable with, I'll say, hey, let, how about we do this? Let's pull out our phone. I'll, I'll put a text message in. I'll, I'll text message myself my character, and you text message yourself your character, and then we'll show each other our phones. Like, there's, there are other ways to go about it, right? So let's say, though, you choose um, – let's double blind real quick. I'm going to choose a character, and you choose a character, all right? Okay. All right. I'm going to put my character in my phone right now, and I'm going to choose somebody. All right. Uh, we're just going to imagine that we did this right. Who did you choose? I chose uh, Banjo and Kazooie. Okay. I chose Joker as my character. So now we know that it's Joker versus Banjo. Um, th the next part is stage striking. So what's going through your mind with stage striking? So when I'm thinking about stage striking, a lot of times, a lot of people um tend to go for stages like for example pokemon stadium 2 a lot of people love to default to that stage so and, and it's a pretty good like uh, 
all around stage, but there are definitely some um, people that definitely want to be on it more. Like Snake, for example, would be really good on that. But with Joker, I'd say that I would be um, in this matchup. I would not want him to. Um, I would not want to bring him there at all. So what I'd be thinking is, okay, as Banjo and Kazooie, who um, can't can't really utilize those platforms very well. I'm going to say, okay, well, I'm going to go to, I'm going to ban that stage outright. Okay, so let's real quick, um, for us, for like you and me, we, we know what banning is, um, but for newer players, um, I think we should refer to it as striking. So you strike uh, first, right, for starter stages. That, ten, that gets confusing, though. I, just, I say ban all the time, but yeah. I know newer players are like, wait, I thought you could only ban and counterpick. Technically, that's the truth, all right? But you call it banning. Um, okay, so the process usually goes one two one, right? Because there's five starter stages: Battlefield, FD, PS2, Smashville, and Town and City tend to be the the five most common, right? With like, I don't know when when's the last time you've seen Lilat uh, a starter stage? A while, right? Like, I don't it, know. it hasn't been a starter stage in a while. So with something like that, what um we want to look at specifically is um. We we like the starter stages will change like based on the meta changing based on what um stages the community is comfortable with on and starter stages are considered stages that don't really give a humongous advantage to certain characters for real like Kalos and Unova and Yoshi's Story those are all stages that are definitely give an edge to certain characters and that's why they're considered counter pick. Okay, so let's say we do rock, paper, scissors, or we flip a coin, and um, I'll just say, let's say I win. Um, and it's Joker versus, uh, you said Banjo, right? Yes. What I'm thinking is, like, what works well for my Joker? I like platforms, like, because I can utilize them, especially if I do, like, drag down up there. So I'm thinking, like, what could I use for myself that would benefit me the most? And I need platforms, especially to, like, work around Banjo. So, like, I would immediately strike fd is my first stage i'm like i don't want to go to fd it tends to be my first uh, strike so then it would go over to you because it's one stage two stage one stage right so yep. i banned the first strike, whatever now what two would you strike so um and just to elaborate on this really quick both players are going to have two stage strikes he's um uh gabs will have the first one then i'll have two stages that i can strike and then he will have one, just to make sure that the one two one makes sense real quick. So what I would ban personally is my striking of um would probably consist of stages. Um, for example, town and city, because personally I don't really get too terribly much off of it, and um. Since it's pretty big, it can be sometimes hard uh, to kill my person, especially um, when I have a higher committer, com, um, committal moves. So I need to be really careful about that. So I would ban Town outright. And then I would also ban, um, like I said, Pokemon Stadium 2, because Joker can get a lot off the platforms there, and I don't really benefit at all from the from that particular um layout i That's can't i can't really do i can't really do mix-ups all with my grenade on it stuff like that that like that's what i'm thinking of. right so, so you're I not get getting me. much from the stages and you're also trying to take away what i can get from the stages as well exactly right so yeah so these don't really have small blast zones or large blast zones so we're not really thinking about that at the moment so it leads me now to smashville or battlefield and honestly, I don't mind either stage. I think for this matchup, it really doesn't matter. I just prefer Battlefield, right? Because I can extend combos up on that top platform if it possibly happens, right? Like with Arsene, like I've done it before. So I would go Battlefield. That also gives me an extra platform to kind of jump around. So we would end up on Battlefield as our first stage. Okay, so let's say we play. Let's say I lose on Battlefield. Okay, now let's just look, um let's just do the Knifey Worlds Wars rule set. So we got Yoshi's Island Brawl, Yoshi's Story, Kalos and Lilat available. Oh wow, this one actually has three stage bands. That's not 
common, actually. Usually it's only two stage bands. Let's move up to the glitch and pound roll set. It's the same thing, except right. there's no Yoshi's Island Brawl. Okay, yeah. so um, I lost. The next part of the rule set states that the um, winning player proceeds to strike a state. Okay, so the winning player, um, where are we at here? They play the first set. Winning player strikes a stage, and then the losing player proceeds to pick the next one. So you actually get two stage bands. Which ones? What's going through your mind with your two stage bands right now? So with this, what I would want to do is I would definitely want to ban um, immediately out uh, Kalos because it's humongous, and um, I don't want you to be able to run away from me. I also can't set up too terribly much um, because it's just so wide open, and the platforms, again, don't really benefit me all too much. So that'd be my first ban. And then the next ban that I would um, probably do is I would probably say that I would want to ban, let's see, probably Lilac Cruise because my bomb's already pretty, my grenade bomb is kind of already weird with how it bounces. And with how the shape of Lilac is, it can make it even weirder with the um, straight um, shape of the actual stage itself. So I don't want to even like make a risk of that. Nice. Okay, so then... I would, and this is where it, we're, we're probably going to end up just leaving it here, right? Because whoever wins the next game, that we just it's the same process. Um, and my, what you're looking for here, and this is the important part, this is what Mage said at the very beginning of the video, this is where players will default the PS2 or Battlefield because that's where they feel comfortable. But this is where you have, right now, six stages to choose from. And you're gonna choose the one of the most neutral stages in the game. You need to find the one stage that fits the matchup the most, and this is what's gonna change from matchup to matchup. But here's the th here's here's the deal: if you have a main, you already know which stages aren't good for you. So like Mage already knows that he he doesn't like Kalos, right? Like it doesn't really help out Banjo. And he doesn't really like Pokemon Stadium too. It doesn't really help out Banjo. So he's not looking to go to those stages. Is it neutral? Sure, right? PS2 is a neutral stage. But he's not going to go there because it doesn't help him out. And as Joker, why would I choose FD, right? Like, he doesn't like it. It doesn't really help me out, though. So I would want to choose a, a, a stage that's going to help me out. So I would actually go Yoshi's Story. It's the same as Battlefield, except smaller Blast Zones now. And if I, do, if I get one pull-down combo or one... Oh, God, right? If I hit you with a Arsene... Back air at like 85, you're dead on that stage. So I'm trying to go for like early kills or something. Yeah, and the reverse can be said um, as well, is if I, if I hit Joker with one strong move, since he's much lighter than I am, I can destroy his stock very quickly. Not only that, the, the benefits that um, Battlefield gives me where I can hide under platforms with Grenade and prevent him from getting um, to me by creating a zone is even worse on Yoshi's story because the platforms are even closer to ledge, so it's very hard to weave around me when I put the grenade in front of me. See, this is why I think now what we need to do is, is go through the stages and kind of talk about them in general. Yeah, right? that like, sounds great. And with that being said, guys, tune in to the next video where... We will talk about the stages themselves. We're going to go through Battlefield, FD, TNC, whatever you see on the stages there. We will also include Unova in the discussion, and that will once again be in part two of this video. So once again, if you want to listen to a breakdown of the stages, tune in to the next video. Thank you guys uh, for watching, and uh, stay safe.